the way you wear your hat. Salt Spring Island jazz music is setting the local standard through well-known local vocalist Sue Newman. Born of a musical family, Sue moved to Salt Spring Island as a child with two brothers and two sisters, the daughter of Ray and Virginia Newman. Originally from South California, her peace-loving family took an extended camping trip north of the border in order to escape the political climate of the Vietnam War. Always been a camping family and we met a Canadian family and uh, we started camping and visiting up here and, and fell in love with the islands particularly and my older sister fell in love with the Canadian family's son and they married and soon we all found ourselves up here and it was a, a really great choice. I still recall you. Music has always been at the heart of the Newman family and while Sue's mother and father have both since passed away, she's helped to mould the melody of Newman notes into her offspring. She performs with her two daughters, Lauren and Patrice Bowler, who both at the same time as running a tea company in Vancouver the way you sip your tea managed to fit music into the mix. They were around me a lot when I was performing with my uh, first husband, their father, and um, around a lot of music and then of course around music with their grandparents. And a Quiet Place by Ray Newman and this is my daughter Lauren Bowler. It is an absolute pleasure to perform with your children. Let me tell you, it's um, it's incredibly fulfilling, it's just a joy. A quiet place that we can call our own. Our cameras were lucky enough to catch this mother-daughter duo at Salt Springs Moby's Pub on a recent Sunday. She was invited as a special guest to play here with Derek Milton and the El Zucalo Quintet. Bourbon Street Sundays is part of a jazz revival at Moby's. To try to bring back what, what used to be a really thriving event, a uh, weekly event actually, uh, back in the 90s. Jazz back at Moby's is the greatest thing ever. I used to come here 20 years ago and watch it and I'm over the moon that it's back. Yeah, it was a different group of musicians back then. Uh, sadly, some of the original Moby's jazz players are no longer with us. But uh, yeah, for almost a decade, Moby's was the home to jazz on Salt Spring. And the last three owners were a little less uh, supportive of, of jazz. And the new owner, is, he, he wants to give it a real good try. So I'm hoping that uh, it'll work. Judging by tonight's uh, turnout, it might. <laughs> Crowds and noise. It's always really exciting to play with new people. There's a real element of, especially if you don't know them. <laughs> you just uh, jump in and you kind of have similar backgrounds. So you say, you know this tune, you know that tune, great, okay. And, and uh, let's count it in and off we go. It's really fun. It's called many different things. Uh, vocalese is one of the terms and um, or just scatting. Just as long as you kind of follow where the chord progression is going, then uh, then you can't really go wrong. <laughs> also teaches music, an accomplished stage director and choreographer, and she's making moves to increase her audience. Just because it's nice to expand sometimes. So I went over to Crofton, the Crofton Hotel, and uh, did a jam session over there and got a couple of gigs out of it, so that was wonderful, a new audience. You'll be able to see Sue perform live at Music in the Vines at Salt Spring Vineyards on July 6th or at 1 p.m. on August 23rd at the Shamanus Jazz Festival. On a clear day, rise and look around you and you'll see who you are. From Salt Spring Island, I'm James Green. There's more.